Welcome to The Mischief, I'm Valen, and this is Hexlands, a new and inspiring world gen mod by Superfluke. As you can see, there is quite a lot of, uh, well, difference in the biomes and so on for this mod. Uh, it is specifically designed just to change the biomes so that you can have them all uh, either individually divided or even unified in certain hexes. I believe it was inspired perhaps by a certain board game by the name of Settlers of Catan. Maybe not. I don't know. I think it might have been. But um, it's highly configurable and it works with a few other biome mods as well. This is the standard default, uh, with his, which is just uh, Hexlands, and I included in here the Traverse mod. Uh, you can include other biome mods as well, like the Defiled Lands or uh, Biomes of Plenty and so on. And what this allows you to do is basically just create these giant hexes, uh, or small hexes, or massive hexes. You, you basically divide things up. So if you're having difficulty in trying to, uh, I don't know, lay claim on servers, this might actually help you to better determine, this is my hex, that is my hex. This is player X, Y, and Z, you know, so things like that. That could be actually one way of doing it. Also, it could just be an easy way of trying to find biomes so that you know when sometimes you have a biome that just takes over everything. Uh, you could actually change it so that there is quite a large variety of biomes. Oh look, there's an astral sorcery tower that I was looking for. Easy enough to find now. So enough with the default setup. Let's see how you can actually set this up. It's going to be very brief. Create a new world, and of course you can do whatever options you want, but instead your world type is going to need to be one of a couple different things. Either Hexlands, or if you have Biomes of Plenty installed and you'd like to use that, Biomes of Plenty Hexlands. And these are the two different uh, world types you'd have to include in your world. Now just to give an example of a crazy feature, in this case I have made everything in a 9 block radius, or, or diameter rather, um, hexes. And uh, I, I still have the stone brick. You can actually change out the stone bricks uh, for another block. You can remove them entirely. You can have them, in this case, go all the way down to bedrock. Or uh, you could just have them floating towards the surface of the uh, area so that it just acts as a divider. And you can always end up, uh, you know, going through from one hex to another underground by mining without knowing if you uh, don't have this going down to bedrock. Let's take a look at some other examples. Now in this example that I have here, uh, this is currently going to have a good amount of, well, variety for the number of biomes. This is kind of a somewhat standard setup. I did uh, adjust things ever so slightly, but uh, as you can see, things are going to be varied from one hex to the next. There is very rarely any of them connecting. That's because in the config options of Hexlands under World Gen, the biome size I have listed here at 600, but that's because I uh, reset everything to default. It was at 6,000, which allows for a large variety to be had. Now in this sample I have here, everything is set to about 60, which uh, is going to mean that, that you're going to have a few hexes actually overlapping and connecting together. And I did have the option uh, to remove the borders for any similar connected to, uh, biomes to have that removed. So that you could actually have, you know, kind of uh, defin definitive borders for such things. But you do have to be aware that, you know, you can have a bit of run-on and large uh, biomes in this case. But you can always also change things like the cave settings and uh, further underground such. Now if I were to continue descending in uh, spectator mode, you'll start seeing that the cave systems all seem to somewhat interconnect, as they normally would under a normal vanilla ground, uh, underground play. Well, that is part of the design of this. You can actually uh, have it so that they are cut off by the different walls and so on, or you can have it so that they all connect together and it's a little bit more seamless underground. Now, of course, by increasing the world noise a lot, you can have quite, a, well, a variety of craziness to choose from. Uh, just make sure that you have some way of potentially scaling the walls. And as you can see here, these are actually similar um, biomes, but yet one is taller than the other. Therefore, they're connected, but one's raised because the noise is, uh, well, increased in this, or at least the noise setting. 
Now this here is a map of Journey Map, where I've got lots of the hexes just kind of shown on here. Yes, some biomes will actually, you know, this is a defiled lands will spread into other biomes and so on. But as you can see, it, it kind of gets a little bit weird over here. We've got these mid-sized hexes and we've got these tiny ones and these really big ones. Reason being is I changed the configs and came into the game in three different scenarios. Therefore, you will have things like these errors showing up if you start changing the configs in the middle of the game. But it does give an example of, you know, like using something, I think these are 100, those are around 60, and these are the, the 9 size that I had before. So you can see the definite changes in how things will work. And I... And I also had some variants on this one. This is more towards the default. This one here, I had uh, all the noise removed, so therefore everything is uh, relatively flat. And therefore, uh, you will still end up with some large hills and whatnot, but um, the overall uh, connectivity of the different hexes will be on the same level. Same thing with these uh, nine block areas that I have down here, which are just relatively kind of cute actually they're they're almost like a one block build of a different each different biome they're pr pretty darn neat so that's pretty much it i just wanted to give you guys a quick down and dirty sample of this really really cool biomes uh mod <laughs> and how it can work with some of your other biomes mods that you might also enjoy like i said it is designed to work with biomes of plenty or Traverse, or Defiled Lands uh, by default. And it may be able to work with some others as well. It's up to you to try and test that out. And uh, thanks again to Superflu for such a fantastic and really interesting mod. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, be sure to spread the mischief to others. I think that they'll enjoy this kind of content too. And if you'd like to support the mischief, just check out the links in the description below. Until next time, I'll see ya!